Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. doing a hummingbird sheep cake. I have wanted a hummingbird cake for a couple of years actually and I just I've been intimidated by it. The sheet cake version seems so much easier. Hummingbird so. cakes they're kind of finicky if you're not careful because of the process of how you have to make it and everything right. like that and we really haven't come down to the wire of having a good recipe and we've been searching and seeking to tweak and right. make it our own and everything so we the, got one here then right the one that i actually had was a um a round one you know like a three layer round mm -hmm. cake which was really really good so i'm excited to try this so we're going to mix our dry ingredients in together first so i have my all-purpose flour this is pure cane sugar and it has like a brown crystallized look to it turbinata sugar right turbinata sugar or pure cane sugar mm -hmm. um, so that's going to go in um, i almost really truly think because of it almost it reminds me of a little bit of brown sugar um, so i think you get some moisture from it more than you would regular sugar so we have baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt in here. So all that's going to get mixed in. And then I'm just going to whisk this together just so that all these dry ingredients are together. And then we're going to use the wooden spoon to actually mix the liquid in. Because we have uh, mashed bananas and we have crushed pineapples, so you need to have something that's not a whisk. So right. I'm having to use this here to make it a little easier to mix. Right. This is another one of those wonderful sheet cakes. I told you we had a bunch of them. Yep. So. All right. So the crushed pineapple actually is in their juices, their natural juices too. So you're going to get some moisture from that as well. All right. Let's see what we want to start with. We have coconut oil, which is going to be really, really good. You could do coconut oil or avocado oil. And you have to I, melt it. Yeah, you have to melt it. I actually have coconut oil that we use for some other, you know, when we're doing our chocolates. Mm -hmm. So I had that on hand. So I did not buy avocado oil when I have this. So I scooped this up and put this in the microwave to melt it. <laughs> To the exact amount. I was shocked. I thought it, I was going to have to pour some off. Right. It's hard to judge when it's mm -hmm. solid mm -hmm. what it's going to melt to. And, mm -hmm. and we needed a cup. And what she pulled out was exactly a cup. Fine. Okay. My pineapples. I'm going to start stirring so that I don't get it full of a ton of liquids. And then end up splashing it everywhere. Those bananas were on the just the right side of ripe and they're going to be very moist so that's going to add a lot of moisture to this cake too. Right. There are so many vitamins in bananas, so many antioxidants in the peelings too. You can use it for wound healing and stuff like that. The huh. skin. Yeah. The inside the skin. All right I'm going to add the eggs. How many eggs was this? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of eggs, I guess, because they're large. So the coconut's going to be acting like a binding agent, and also it's going to give it a little texture, too. So, mm hmm. Okay. Do the bananas. And it, it depends on what size your bananas are. You need two cups. So if you have big bananas, you might need need as many. We ha we needed four or five? Four and a half. Four and a half bananas yeah. to get two cups. Well, we could have probably used the fifth one, but it fell in the trash. So. <laughs> <laughs> it fell off the counter. What right are you going to do? At least I have the garbage can in the right spot. 
Did fall on the floor. Messy Marvin mess. here. Yeah. Does Debbie. Messy Marvin. So that will and it will look chunky because the bananas are chunky. Right. And they and no matter how you mash them up, you're gonna have little chunks of bananas. And also your pineapples are gonna be All right. chunky yeah. too. My vanilla. You always put in your vanilla last with your coconut because it makes it just easier because your your vanilla is there just to give it the extra flavor. Your coconut is, you know, to help bind everything together and also to give it some texture. And it's also harder to mix when you have the coconut in. So Okay, that's my last ingredient is a half a cup of coconut. Yummy. I'm excited for this. It smells so good through this mask. It does. It and really normally, I don't smell that much through the mask. Thank God I only have two more weeks of this mask, and then I don't have to wear it anymore. Yeah. Thank God. Well, I still have to wear it out in public, you know, where it's it's but, required. But not here in the house. Yeah. In the house. When we're vaccinated. LC is completely vaccinated, and her vaccine uh, was given two days ago. So she's feeling a little sluggish today, yesterday and today. But she still powered through it. She made some cakes for some lady yesterday mm -hmm. and uh, one of our customers. And uh, okay, now today she's going to be Superwoman doing this. All right. Okay. This is going to be so moist, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. But you know, a hummingbird cake is always moist. Mm -hmm. It always is very, it's very uh, soft and actually kind of a little mushy. Mm -hmm. So, and the bananas, and yep, everything. And the, if you, if you don't like bananas, you're not gonna like this, that's for sure. Yeah, and the pineapples too, between yeah. the bananas and pineapples. It's gonna Those be are the two main ingredients, really. They hold a lot of water, both of them do. Okay, all right. All righty. And it pretty much leveled itself. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 mm -hmm. for 40 to 45 minutes. Then we're gonna make the icing that goes on top of it. This is another one of those Texas sheet cakes. I think we have done a series of them. Yeah. And guess what? Everyone's as as, delicious. I'm telling you. It, it, and yes. And actually, they, I want to say they're getting better as, as you go along, but truly, my favorite so far is the strawberry one. I love the lemon one that we did last week, but the week before, the strawberry, you can't go wrong with that strawberry one. No, it's so good. And I've it, made it several times. It's, and it's so, so good. good. I got a request, and then Ben made me make the lemon one for his job and they ate it up they said they loved it it was delicious they said put a little more lemon in it and i'm like how much lemon do you oh, want wow. so they must yeah. have really liked the lemon so so it's hard to beat we're we're escalating each week on the sheet cakes to see which one's going to be the favorite I'm, i mean that, that every week they're getting better and better and better i want to try really. a peanut butter one i think that would be mm -hmm. freaking off the mm -hmm. chain Yes. There's a chocolate one with like peanut butter icing on it, so that would be good too. But there 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 are probably thousands of varieties of shake right. seriously. Right. And they're all the rage, so and they're easy. One. They're easy. They are. You seen how easy it Pretty is? Pretty much every one of them we've done is hand mix. It is. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Every sheet cake is a hand mix. Yep. It's not not with a mixer. Yep. So, All right, easy. guys, we will see you when this comes out and we get ready to ice it. Hey, y'all, it's Debbie. I am going to be making the icing for the top of our hummingbird cake. It's a sheet cake from Texas. I have a stick of butter in here. I'm going to be going ahead and putting in eight ounces of cream cheese. And I'm going to go ahead and cream these up with our hand mixer. So I'm going to go ahead and start that out. Going to get it to go in real smooth here. And then we'll add in our vanilla and our confectionaire sugar. Okay, so it is whipped up pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my two and a half cups of confectionaire sugar and my vanilla. 
and we're going to go ahead and start this out smooth and slow. We'll start getting it combined and then we're going to put it on top of our cake. You don't want to be like going 90 miles an hour with this all at once. You want to kind of do it a little smooth here because otherwise you'll get a, a powdered sugar bath. I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. Okay y'all, this is really thick so I'm going to go ahead and just get it off the beaters here real quick and put it in our bowl so we can make sure this is all well recombined. and. Get ready to put it on the top of our cake. Oh, it looks good, y'all. Truly looks good. This is the consistency of what you would buy in the store in a container. It's nice, it's thick, it's very settled. It's not too hard to mess with or to manipulate, but it's Oh God, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here's the cake. I'm just gonna put it on our hummingbird cake. Then we're gonna smooth it out. There is a lot of moistness to this cake because of the bananas and because of the pineapples. And I think the oil might have something to do with it too, so. Elsie and I have made our fair share of hummingbird cakes in our time. And it's always been one of our favorites. I would rank it right up there with carrot cake and cheesecake. It's not actually those. Will be my favorites. All right. Just push these out to the side. Get it all covered. I think I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator just for a little while because it is a little bit before dinner time and I don't want it to be sitting out with the cream cheese. I don't want it to ruin, so we might just put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. All right, we are getting Almost done here. I have a little trick to make in your design on your on your cakes and I'll show that to you here because I think this could be one of those that you could do it on because the icing is thick enough and I think it would settle up just pretty and really nice so. All right.
Kelsey. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.